Hi everyone, I wanted to make this video <clears throat> um, to talk about how to find a correlation coefficient in StatCrunch and uh, to do it using an example where I compared the association uh, between pairs of quantitative variables. So I'm going to be using this data set here, it's a serial data set, and I'm going to be asking the question, which is, uh, we're going to be looking at the correlation between um, a few ingredients and the ratings, uh, the Consumer Reports ratings of cereal, uh, of these cereals. And we're going to be asking ourselves, which is a better predictor of the Consumer Reports ratings? Okay, so specifically, which is a better predictor of the Consumer Report rating of the cereals, this variable here at the end? Is it the sugar content or the sodium content? So sugar in grams, sodium in milligrams. So let's make the scatter plots first. Let's go to graph, scatter plot. We'll make two of them. So first of all, we're going to be predicting the um, <clears throat> the rating, and so since we're predicting the rating, that's going to be our response variable in both of our graphs. So that will be my y variable in both of the graphs rating, and we're going to be using two different explanatory variables to try to predict that rating to try to explain it. On the one hand, we will use sodium for one graph, okay? Uh, we're not going to group it by anything for now, so we're just going to hit compute. So all I did was pick my explanatory x variable, sodium, my response y variable rating, and click, click compute. So there's one graph, and I will make the other graph as well. Scatter plot. So now we will use... Uh, sugar to predict the rating and click compute. There we go. So here are my two scatter plots. Um, and let's talk about what we see in them. Okay, so we see um, less scatter here, more scatter here, similar directions. Let's be more specific. So the sugar scatter plot seems to have a strong negative linear association. So negative meaning that the more sugar that a cereal has, the lower its rating, which makes sense, right? The data is going, going down from left to right in this direction. Um, so that's the negative association. And in context, the more sugar, the less rating, or the less sugar, the more rating, okay? So this makes sense, right? Because the Consumer Reports rating um, is related to the healthiness of the cereal, and the more unhealthy it is, i.e. more sugar, the lower the rating. <clears throat> um, over here in the sodium graph, we might see a little bit of a negative association. Um, so these higher sodium um, cereals have some of the lower ra ratings, but these medium sodium um, Cereals also have some low ratings and also some really high ratings. And then the really lowest, the, the, the sodium, the cereals with the lowest, the lowest sodium, zero, uh, have some of the higher ratings. But as soon as you get any bit of sodium, you get a lot of scatter. So maybe a tiny bit of negative association, but it's a very weak association. And it's kind of linear. You know, the, 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 you know, the form of the association is, I guess, more linear than nonlinear. But again, all of that uncertainty comes from the fact that the association is not very strong here. Here, the association is pretty strong uh, and very negative. Here, the association is very weak or kind of weak and, uh, and uh, negative. So um, obviously, we would want to be able to talk about the strength of the association in more precise terms than just very strong and very weak and kind of weak and whatnot. So that's where the correlation coefficient comes into play. So when our associations are linear, so only in the case when we have linear associations, we can use the correlation coefficient, the R value, to us to measure the strength, okay? So R value is a value between negative one and one that describes the direction of the association and its strength. 
So the, if it's linear. So the direction is given by the by whether the, uh, the R value is negative or positive. So in this one, I definitely will expect a negative R value. In this one, since I think it's probably negatively associated, then I will also expect a negative R value. But the big difference is going to be in the value itself, right? Here the association is much stronger. Here the association is much weaker. And the general rule is the closer, the, the stronger the association is, then the closer that value will be to negative one, which is the most perfectly strong negative association you can have, or to positive one, the strongest positive association. And the weaker the association, like in this one, the closer it will be to zero. So let's check. So I'm going to, uh, sorry, go to stats to grade, get the R value. Go to summary stats, or I'm sorry, just, uh, yeah, summary stats. Let's go there. This is going to be the most uh, straightforward way to do it. And then go to correlation. Okay, I could also find it by clicking here, columns, but it's just, it'll just take, take a few extra steps. So I go to correlation, and then I select my columns, the two variables I want to compare. So I want to do, oh, I'm sorry, uh, the sugar with the rating. And to select two different uh, values here, I have to use control. So it says it right here. Select more than one with shift click or control click. Uh, if they're not next to each other, you have to use control. So control click. So let's start with this. Sugar and rating, compute, negative 7.59. So this is an R value very close to negative one. So it's a very strong negative association, which is what we expected. And let's do it again. Uh, sorry, stat, summary stats, correlation. Now for uh, sodium and control click, rating. See, it comes up there, compute. And this is a also a negative association. And it's a bit stronger than what I expected. But it is, notice, closer to 0 than it is negative 1. So definitely on the weak side. So negative 0 0.40. Okay, so there you have it. We have the the scatter plots, which show us the direction, the form, and visually the strength. And we have the R values, which help us help give us evidence as to its strength. Okay, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and learned a lot.